Okay, this is lesson 1.2, solving linear systems. And in this video, we're gonna solve linear systems by substitution. Uh, in grade nine and in the review unit, uh, we solve linear systems by graphing uh, lines and looking for where they crossed. Um, in this video, we're actually going to solve the linear systems by using some algebra. And there's two methods. Uh, the method we're gonna explore in this video is called substitution. And the next lesson is gonna explore a uh, method called elimination. So you kind of have already seen substitution before. Um, just the type of substitution you've seen is by substituting a single term. So um, in our first example here it says if we have the equation y equals 3x plus 1 we could find y if I tell you what x is. And the way we would do that is we would replace the x with the number 2 and solve for y. This is substitution we're replacing a letter with what that letter is. And in this case, this letter is the number two. So to substitute, we look in our equation for where x is, we're right here. And since we know that x is two, we're gonna replace x with two. Anytime we do a substitution, we just replace the letter with the number, and to show we've substituted, we can put the bracket in. So we've replaced the x with the number 2 in brackets. And then we just have to follow bed mass to solve. We've got 3 times 2 plus 1. 3 times 2 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. So y is 7 when x is 2. That substitution. We're going to use that idea but in this video, we're going to substitute an expression, not just a value. So let's take a look. What I've done is I've put the steps for substitution um, here, and I'm going to use these steps while I show you the example. So I'm not going to read out the steps. I'm going to work through the example and discuss the steps as we go, and then we'll do a second example and do the same thing. Um, and then I'll have two for you to practice on the next page. So I'm going to keep the steps there at the top. Uh, we have our equations. So we have two systems here. We're going to look at them one at a time. We're going to first solve this system. So we're going to look for where these lines cross. And we could solve it graphically by graphing these two equations, but we already know how to do that. So this video is about solving them algebraically. And the strategy is called substitution, and the first step is to label the equations. So I'm going to label these equations 1 and 2. This is our first line. This is our second line. And now that we have them labeled, we're going to look at the equations and we're going to try to isolate for one of the variables. So that means we're going to make one of the equations say x equals or y equals. And if the equation already says that, we're done the first part of step two. And if we look, equation one does not say x equals or y equals. It says 3x plus 2y equals negative 2. There's no x equals or y equals. But the second equation does say y equals. It says y equals x minus 6. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute. We're going to substitute equation 2 into equation 1. And the reason we can do this is because we know what y is. Equation 2 tells us what y is. Equation 2 says y is x minus 6. So if we go look at the first equation, 3x plus 2y equals negative 2, this equation has a y in it. Well, because the second equation says y equals, we know what y is. y is x minus 6. So we're going to substitute x minus 6 in the spot of the letter y. And the way we do that is the exact same way we did it up at the top of the page. We replace the y with a bracket. Everything else about the equation stays the same. If we look, 3x plus 2, the bracket takes the spot of y, equals minus 2. Everything stayed the same, but instead of y, we're writing what y equals, x minus 6.
And there, what we've done is called substitution. We've replaced y with x minus 6. And if you look carefully, you can actually see the second equation. y is x minus 6, because we've replaced it. And now why do we do that? Well, the reason we do it is because we can't solve this equation. Because we have an x and a y, and if you have one equation with two things you don't know, there's no possible way to solve it because you can't isolate for one of the letters. But now that we've substituted, we've replaced the y with x minus 6, and now if you look at the equation, we only have the letter x. This is an equation we can solve now. We can solve for x. And the way we do it is we expand, collect like terms, and isolate for x, just like we solved equations in the review unit and in grade 9. So let's do that. Let's solve for x now. So we've got 3x, and then we've got a 2 in front of a bracket. Well, we can distribute that 2 and multiply. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. And now we can collect our like terms. We'll keep the x's on the left side. We'll move the numbers to the other side. 3x plus 2x stays negative 2 and 12 moves to the other side and becomes plus 12. And now if we collect the like terms, 3x plus 2x is 5x, negative 2 plus 12 is 10, and if we divide away 5, we get x equals 2. And that is the first part of our solution. x is 2. <clears throat> How do we find what y is? Well, now that we know x is 2, we can go back up to either of these equations and substitute in the number 2. We can put 2 here and solve for y, or we can put 2 here and solve for y. Whichever equation we choose, we'll end up getting the same value of y if we do the math right. And the reason why is because there's only one solution to a linear system, if there's a solution. Now, in those two other cases we explored last video, there could be no solution, and we're going to explore what that looks like in class. Or there could be an infinite number of solutions, and we're going to look at what that looks like in class. But for all the ones in the lesson, there will be just one solution. So, how do we find the y? Well, I'm going to choose equation number 2 because it's the simplest. It already says y equals. So to find out what y equals, we just have to do x minus 6, and we know what x is. It's 2, so we just have to do 2 minus 6. So what that looks like is we're just going to sub x equals 2 into equation 2. Equation 2 is y equals x minus 6. So we're going to replace the x with 2. It's a second substitution. So since we know x is 2, we're going to replace the x with 2. We get y equals 2 minus 6. And 2 minus 6, that's negative 4. And that's our answer for y. Now, if you remember from the review unit in the last video, the solution to a linear system, or the solution to two lines, is where those lines cross. So we have an x and a y part of our answer. So the solution is the point of intersection, and a point has two parts, an x part and a y part. So we say, therefore, the point of intersection is 2, negative 4. And if we graphed these two lines, we would find the exact same thing. We would find that those lines cross at 2, comma, negative 4. Now, if we want to know if we got the question right, we can do step 5, a left side, right side check. That's not a required step unless it asks to show the check. But if we wanted to check, we would have to check 2, negative 4, our point of intersection, in both equations. So I'm going to show you what that would look like. 
Let's do a check. To check. Left side, right side. And write the left side of the first equation on the left side. And the right side on the other side. So the right side is just the number negative 2. So we don't actually have to do any math with that because we don't have an x or a y. The left side we do. We're going to replace the x with 2 and the y with negative 4 because that was our answer. And we're going to hope that we get negative 2 on both sides. So let's see. We got 3 times 2 plus 2 times negative 4. 3 times 2 is 6. 2 and negative 4 times is negative 4. 8, 6 minus 8 is negative 2. That one worked. Both sides are negative 2. Second equation, left side, right side check. We've got y equals x minus 6. y is negative 4. x is 2. 2 minus 6 is negative 4. That one worked as well. If your solution works in both equations, that means it's the point of intersection because it means that the point 2, negative 4 is on both of these lines. And the only way it can be on both of the lines is if it's the point of intersection. All right, we're going to do a second example of substitution and then I'm going to have you try it yourself. This example is a little trickier because neither of the equations say x equals or y equals. So, we have to try to change one of the equations to say x equals or y equals by isolating for either x or y. So we've got equation 1 and equation 2. Now we could isolate for x or y in either of these equations and we would be able to solve it making any choice. Now which one you should pick is the one that makes your life the easiest. So in order to isolate for x in this equation, we would have to divide everything by 2. And if doing that gives you no fractions, I would suggest doing that. So if we divided everything in this equation by 2, 2x divided by 2 is just 1x that it lets us isolate for x, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, no fractions, that would be a great choice. Now if we look at all the other options, if we wanted to isolate this equation for the letter y, we'd move the 2 over and divide everything by 4. 2 divided by 4 is 0.5. That's going to lead to a decimal or a fraction. That would make the math a little bit more tricky. In fact, if we tried to isolate the second equation for x or y, we'd end up with fractions and decimals as well. So I would always pick the number or the letter that has a coefficient that we can divide by all the other terms so that we don't get decimals. Now if you choose wrong, it doesn't matter, you'll just work with some fractions and you can still do the question, but if you choose right, you can make your life a little bit easier. So I'm going to uh, work with equation one. So I'm going to say from number one, I'm going to take 2x equals 4y plus 2 and I'm going to isolate for x by dividing everything by 2. So I get x equals 2y plus 1. And now we know what x is. So now we can do the substitution step. We're going to substitute equation 1 into equation 2. Now when you do a solution, you don't need to write these word steps. You can just do the math. Um, the word steps are kind of here for you to follow along with my solution, um, but also it's nice when you practice the first couple times, you might want to include these to kind of help you organize your solution. So equation 2 is 4x minus 3y equals 9, and we're going to replace x with what x is, 2y plus 1. So we're going to rewrite the equation for 2y plus 1 instead of x minus 3y equals 9. The only part we changed was what x is. x is 2y plus 1. And now we're going to do a little bit of math. We're going to distribute the 4. We get 8y plus 
4 minus 3y equals 9. The only thing that changed is we distributed the 4, so now we were able to open up the brackets, and that'll let us collect like terms. <clears throat> we're going to keep the y's on the left side, move the plus 4 to the right side, it becomes minus 4. Everything else stayed where it was. 8 minus 3 is 5y. 9 minus 4 is 5. If we divide away the 5s, we get y equals 1. And that's the first part of our solution. Now, we can solve for x. And again, we can pick either of these equations. Now that we know y is 1, we can go put 1 in for y and solve either of these for x. Or you can use this equation. Because all this equation is, is the first equation divided by 2. So we could use this equation. And it would be to our advantage to do it because it just says x equals. So if we replace the y with 1, we can find out what x equals. So I'm going to use that equation. I'm going to sub y equals 1 into our new equation 1. So what will that look like? Well, we've got x equals 2y plus 1. And I'm going to replace the y with the number 1. So I get x equals 2 times 1 plus 1. Bed mass says 2 times 1, 2, plus 1 is 3. So x equals 3. So now we have an x and a y. We can write that as our point of intersection. Therefore, the POI is and Mistakes always happen here. Even though we found y first, y doesn't go first because x comes before y when we write the coordinates of a point. So our answer isn't 1, 3, it's 3, 1. Okay, that's it for the examples. If we flip over, <clears throat> there's uh, two examples here for you to practice. Um, what I'll get you to do is once I'm done explaining, I'll get you to uh, stop the video and you can try a substitution much like the first example I did where there's an x by itself so we'll move the term over and have an equation for x equals and we'll be able to substitute. This one will require one step of dividing first to try to isolate for either x or y in either equation before we substitute. Try those two practice questions and see if you can come up with the answers. Um, if you do, uh, check your answers on the course website um, to see if you got them right. And if you did, awesome. If you didn't, we'll do a little bit more practice tomorrow in class. Now at the bottom of the page, there's another example of substitution where it says find the point of intersection. Um, and what I get you to do is to find the point of intersection using substitution and then check by graphing. And we're actually going to do this example tomorrow in class. So uh, don't do the last example on the page. Save it for tomorrow. But please, tonight, um, try these two practice questions. Uh, and that's it for the first lesson, or sorry, second lesson. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.